And Coach Lockbridge uh, agrees with you, Nick Nurse. He'll call a timeout with the Milton Keynes Lions trailing by 16. Uh, 16 points to 29. Now, before the game, we spoke to Coach Lockridge, and he told us of the importance of Ted Berry and Ian McLean on that team. Ted Berry. Franchise player. Very good off the dribble. Creates his own shots. Our lead. He's our captain. And I think in the end, he'll get us there. Ian McLean, uh, also co captain, veteran leadership. 35, 36 years old, been around the league a long time, um, very savvy, crafty, um, good stability for him. And the key thing is, here's some veteran experience. Ted Berry's been in the league uh, four years. He's been with the Rocks for three of them. McLean has been about forever since you were playing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's experience that they need, especially at a transition point like this. No Lockridge of the Milton Keynes Lions opposition, the Edinburgh Rocks, joins us on the floor. Thanks very much, Kevin. Now, Greg, it's, it's a tough one to lose with such a margin, but of course, the other tough one tonight for you really must be Ted Berry, is that not right? Well, yeah, I'm a bit concerned about his injury. Um, we're going to have it checked out when we get back, and we hope it's not too serious. Um, you know, he's a tough kid. He wanted to come back out and try again, and I let him know that, you know, I don't need a hero. I need a guy that's going to, you know, be realistic about it. And he was. He tried, and he couldn't go. Now, we know you had a bit of a, a, a crushing defeat midweek by the Sharks. How did you get, or how do you get these guys motivated uh, to come here tonight? I, I don't think motivation is a difficult thing because it lies within. You know, you can't motivate someone that doesn't want to be motivated. Uh, and I think most players, when they get to this level, they do. You just have to find out what, you know, what the button is. We were in transition uh, against Sheffield. You know, we were playing with, you know, seven guys. And, uh, and um, you, know, we, you know, we didn't have guys in that we wanted. We have guys in that we want now. And we have one more coming. And then it's just a matter of them falling into place and clicking. Um, I thought offensively, we, you know, we played with some rhythm down uh, the stretch there. Um, they, they outfought us in the first half. Uh, you know, they, you know, a lot of second chance points. Uh, they really pounded the glass. Uh, and they got on the floor for every loose ball. In the second half, we tried to do that, but we matched them basket for basket. So we've got a lot of work to do on the, on the defensive end as a unit to become cohesive. Uh, and then, you know, we've got to do the, the little intangible things that it takes to win. It's a long season. It's still a long time to go to the end of the season. Of course, you're two new guys tonight, uh, Jojo and Rock. Obviously, it's going to take a bit of time for them to get into that team basketball. What do you hope that they bring into this team? Well, I, you know, I thought Rock showed exactly what I thought he could show. You know, he, he showed a lot of toughness. He's a very tough kid. In the second half, he got his lip busted. I told him, welcome to the BBL. <laughs> and then he got back in and he started pounding. I thought Jojo was a bit lost, but, you know, um, Rock, Rock came over off the ferry. Jojo came over on the plane. So, you know, he suffered a, a bit of uh, jet, uh, uh, jet lag. Uh, I think for the both of them, they came in and they wanted to try and improve the Edinburgh Rocks instantly by themselves. Uh, and, and, you know, I think they struggled with that. Once, once they learned that it's a team concept and that, you know, it, unlike where they came from, where they had to be the guy, they don't have to be the guy here. They just have to fit in and help us win. Plenty of time, of course, uh, for them to fit in. We wish you all the very best for the next game, Greg. Thank you.